we gave the fantasy football season. He has the top 15 tight ends. I'm ranking this week. Number one, Brock Bowers of the Las Vegas Raiders. Brock Bowers, what a rookie season it's been for him. And he's quickly moved up the ranking board coming into the year. So I've said this a lot about Brock Bowers. He's been a tight end prospect we've seen in the last decade. And now with Devontae Adams out of town, one option in the passing game for this Las Vegas Raider team. And once again, they're going to be trailing or leaning off the most likely versus the Kansas City Chiefs. And this Chief team, believe it or not, do give up the most fantasy points to tight ends on the season. So I think Bowers goes out there and has a nice game. Number two, Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs staying in the same game. So this week, a matchup with the Vegas Raiders, a team he obviously has a lot of success against in his NFL career is Travis Kelsey. And now, once again, the number one option in this passing game with Rasheed Rice out for the season. Hollywood Brown, he's been out the whole season now Juju Smith-Schuster going down as well everyone dropping like flies for this Kansas City Chief team but Travis Kelsey definitely the decline this season we've seen from him but now back is the number one option and a great matchup with the Vegas Raiders I think he goes out there and has a big game number three George Kittle of the San Francisco 49ers he's not 100 percent he's banged up with the foot injury and now with Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk out for this game you need they know they need George Kittle to step in and play this game or it's gonna be a bunch of backups and second year guys in the lineup for this San Francisco 49er team so if Kittle plays he's got a great track record versus the Dallas Cowboys and Kittle's been easily one of the best tight ends this season as well in fantasy football number four Trey McBride of the Arizona Cardinals Trey McBride the numbers aren't where they were last season but he's still one of the best route runners, one of the better, one of the tougher matchups at the tight end position in all the NFL. And this week, a pretty good matchup at the Miami Dolphins, where their defense isn't all that great. And also McBride, he's been out targeting Marvin Harrison Jr. over the last few weeks. So he's pretty much number one target in this passing game. Once again, the season number five, Evan Ingram of the Jacksonville Jaguars. So him and Brian Thomas, the only real two threats in this offense for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And so far, two weeks back, Evan Ingram's looked good and looked 100% healthy. Where we know last season he had over 100 catches. Him and Trevor Lawrence, their rapport has been great since Ingram's been there over the last few seasons. I know this week a tougher matchup versus the Green Bay Packers, but Evan Ingram, one of the most targeted tight ends over the last few seasons. And on volume alone, he works his way to being a good option. Number six, Mark Andrews. Of the Baltimore Ravens of so the last three weeks he's turned the season around was Mark Andrews and I know the first few weeks the snap count was down definitely wasn't hundred percent coming off that bad leg injury last season and then last week a big ball game at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers finding the end zone twice is Mark Andrews with Isaiah likely not doing much over the last few weeks Andrews back as the number one tight end for this Baltimore Raven team and like I said the last few weeks he's starting to put up elite numbers number seven Kyle Pitts of the Atlanta Falcons. So this week, a great matchup at Tampa Bay. And three weeks in a row in PPR leagues, double-digit fantasy points for Kyle Pitts. So Kirk Cousins has obviously been the best quarterback he's played with throughout his NFL career. And now it's starting to pay dividends and put up fantasy points. So this week, and another potential shootout going back to week five where these two teams versed and it went in overtime. I think Kyle Pitts goes out there, has a good game. Number eight, staying in the same game, Kate Otten of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers so out in last week he had 100 yards I know a lot of garbage time in that game but now with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin out he's going to step in easily as number one or two target in this offense I believe for this Tampa Bay Buck team in the passing game so Kate out in a big target he could run the routes he could run the seam he's got good hands and we even saw in that ball game on Monday night he took some big hits and held on to the football so this week versus the Atlanta Falcons in a potential high score in a game, once again, going back to week five when they burst. I think Otten has a great seal, and now with Evans, Godwin out. Number nine, Jake Ferguson of the Dallas Cowboys. So Ferguson, he's the number two target in the passing game for this Dallas Cowboy team. And Dak Prescott's always liked targeting the tight end, going back to the Jason Witten days. So this week, a tough matchup with San Francisco, one of the better defensive units in all pro football. But Jake Ferguson's a good route runner. Dak and him have a good rapport. And this week at San Francisco, I believe Dallas will be trailing early and often, regardless how many guys are out of the starting line for San Francisco on offense. I think Ferguson is going to get some target share in this one and have a decent game. Number 10, Sam Laporta of the Detroit Lions. So maybe he's too low for people on this list, but Laporta, he hasn't done much all season and a huge bust going late second, early third round and the first tight end 
off the board in most fantasy weeks. A tight end the first six weeks of the season, it was weak. But the last couple weeks, some plays have emerged and definitely putting up points. But Sam Laporta really hasn't been one of those players. Last week, he only had one catch. Maybe he's not 100% still coming off the ankle. But now with Jamison Williams out, the next two games getting suspended, I think Laporta could step up and be pretty decent. But this week, not the greatest of matchups versus Tennessee Titans. 11 Dalton Kincaid, the Buffalo Bills. So it's been a pretty decent season here for Dalton Kincaid. Now we know for sure he's num number two, three option in this offense with Amari Cooper traded to the Buffalo Bills a couple weeks ago. So this week, a pretty decent matchup with the Seattle Seahawks. They can't stop anyone. We saw Kyle Pitts last week go out there and have a double digit fantasy game. And all of a sudden, the tight end position has a decent amount of good players over the last few weeks. So Dalton Kincaid, I know his ceiling isn't that high, but his floor is pretty solid weekly as well. Number 12, Tucker Kraft of the Green Bay Packers. Kraft, he was one of the better tight ends a few weeks ago in fantasy football. But the last couple weeks, the numbers have dropped off a little bit for Tucker Kraft. I know he found the end zone last week in that ball game versus the Houston Texans. But if he didn't score that touchdown... It was a ball game where he only had three, four fantasy points is Tucker Craft. This week, a great matchup at the Jacksonville Jaguars. Their defense all season has had trouble covering the tight end position. And we saw it last week in London. Hunter Henry went out there and had a big performance over 90 yards. So Tucker Craft this week is definitely a top 12 option. 13, Hunter Henry, the mention of the New England Patriots. So Hunter Henry, it's been a down year for him until Drake May has been in the starting lineup over the last two weeks. And like I said, last week over 90 yards for Hunter Henry. In my opinion, the number one option in the receiving game for this New England Patriots team. I know they got guys like Demario Douglas and Polk who hasn't done much his rookie season and Bote as well at the wide receiver position. But Hunter Henry, he knows how to run the scene. He knows how to get open. And he's been a matchup problem for linebackers and safeties throughout his career. If he's got a capable quarterback that could get him the football down the field, then that's exactly what's been happening the last few weeks with Drake May on the center. So this week in a matchup versus the Jets where their defense is banged up and the linebacking position is a little bit of a weakness for them. I think Hunter Henry goes out there once again, has a good game. Team David Njoku of the Cleveland Browns. Njoku had the breakout game last week, 10 for 76 and a touchdown. Now with Jameis Winston in the lineup, I believe this offense could improve. You can't be any worse than Deshaun Watson was for the most part before he torn the Achilles in last week's game. So Jameis Winston, he's a gunslinger. We know he's not scared to throw that football down the field with a 30 touchdown 30 interception season in one year and this week it's gonna be a ball game where I believe they're gonna to have to throw a whole lot and there'll be some garbage time as well versus this Baltimore Raven team that's been on fire over the last month of the season so with all those factors and the joke who finally having his breakout game last week I believe this week we have to see once again but his upside is definitely better with Jameis Winston I believe in the lineup like I said than the Sean Watson and the 15th and final tight end on rankings, Cole Komet of the Chicago Bears. So all of a sudden, like I said, this tight end position's get been loaded over the last few weeks. So Cole Komet, a couple weeks ago versus the Jaguars, he had a two touchdown ball game. And Cole Komet, we know he's an athlete. We know he's a good yard after catch tight end. But inconsistencies have been the problem for him this season. Two big games. And besides that, the other three, he didn't really do much as Cole Komet. So him and Caleb Williams, have definitely had their rapport go up over the last couple weeks. This week, a decent matchup at the Commanders where their defense isn't all that great. Even though the last couple weeks, it's definitely improved and played better the last two out of three weeks. But like I said, Cole Komet, tight end's always a young quarterback, security blanket, and best friend at times. And him and Caleb Williams have been starting to connect over the last few weeks. So Cole Komet this week, if you're going to pinch at the tight end position, he's a serviceable starter. But like I said, a lot of good plays this week with good matchups. That's the top 15 tight ends I'm ranking for week eight of the fantasy football season.